Okay, so this is a modified lesson of our Paul Klee building. It is in Google Classroom under value, Paul Klee building. And we are going to do a version of Paul Klee's painting, A Castle in the Sun. It has geometric shapes like triangles, squares, and circles. This was my project example. And we are using all different shades of value, the lights and darks of a color, which in this case are lights and darks of the color gray. So first we made a value scale in class. We are going to combine our building and our value scale into one shorter project. So you need a paper and a pencil. And we are going to be doing Capitol Records. This is a very famous building in Los Angeles. So I want you to draw along with me. For this modified assignment, I want you to draw a little smaller. So I want your building to be about the size of your hand. So remember, we are doing geometric shapes. We always start with a line for the ground. And then we need to make this building more simple. So we are going to simplify this into a rectangle. So I want you to draw a nice big rectangle. Keep it smaller than your hand though. Then we have another level up here. Let's do another rectangle. And we have a triangle. Okay. And now we are going to abstract this like Paul Klee did how he broke the building up into all different shapes. So I want you to finish with five different values, white, light gray, medium gray, dark gray, and black. So we already have a section one, two, we need three more sections then. So let's break this into a rectangle and this into two triangles. And now we have five sections to do the values. And also to keep this like Paul Cleese, we are going to add a sun or a moon. So I'm going to do a full sun or moon. You could cut that in half if you'd like. Okay, so now we are going to add our values in. So let's start with our black. You can pick any one of these to shade in. And you're going to use the side of your pencil. Go very hard with your pencil. We want to get this all the way black. And you'll have to spin your paper. A little easier if you go around the edges first. And go all different directions. It's okay if you go outside the line, you can erase after. Okay, I have it all filled in. I'm going to get those spots I missed with the point of my pencil. And then you need to get your Q-tip. Blend it out a little bit, make it nice and smooth, and then erase around the edges. Okay, so we have black is done. Now we're going to do medium gray. So pick another area, and you're going to use the side of your pencil. Less pressure this time. Go both directions. And if you find that this is coming out a little darker, then this could end up being your dark gray. That's okay. Go ahead, blend with your Q-tip. Get all the white spots. And then clean up your sheet. Okay, so we already have black, medium gray, and white is already there. So we just need light gray and dark gray. So you have a lot of 
graphite now from blending on your Q-tip. So you can just use that to lightly fill in, pressed a little too hard, some other areas and those will become your light gray. So those are nice and easy to get done. And because I want to go a little faster, I'm going to leave this whole area of white, my bigger spot, and I'm going to pick this one to be my dark gray. So side of the pencil again, press a little harder than your medium gray, a little lighter than your black, shade with your Q-tip, clean up your shapes, and your drawing is done. So you have done all five values and you use geometric shapes. Our geometric shapes in this drawing are the circle, the triangles, and the rectangles. And just why I have you, Capitol Records is a really famous building in Los Angeles. Um, it is the first circular office building. It was built in 1955. So this is a big part of Los Angeles culture. So when you do your clay project on Friday, you can pick any food that is connected to LA culture. So you have a big selection now. Good job, turn your assignment in on Google Classroom, upload it, take a picture. <laughs>